And so yesterday I stirred up a little bit of controversy when it comes to this guy right here. See on YouTube, this guy goes by the name of Blue Skies. S K I E S. Blue Skies. S K I E S. Media. And I went looking into the Monday. Forever Alone Monday, who, as I've already told people, is too professionally spoken, too clean, too professional. He has schooling. He has training. It's not my fault that people can't see that this guy has training. Most likely has a bachelor's degree. And has done this for a living. Then you got the fact that I've been doing dating scene topics and New World Order topics for years. And Steve Hoka has been doing dating scene topics mainly on YouTube. Not that Steve Hoka hasn't looked into the political arena. But Steve Hoka, that wasn't his focus. He focused in on the dating scene, and that was most of Steve Hoka's focus. Now, exception of the last year, year and a half, Steve has started talking a little bit more openly about social engineering because it's so in your face. And it is media, mainstream media, okay? Social engineering of our society that has caused the damage. And it was deliberately done. Okay, so I wanted to get these brought up again. Now, yesterday I caused a lot of controversy when I did a video called Who is Monday Forever Alone Monday? And I showed you what I found when searching. Now, the controversy got started because of this guy right here because this young man has a YouTube channel called Blue Skies S K I E S Media on YouTube and I showed you a website and I gave my opinion and I, my gut screams it from my research and what I see my gut absolutely screams it, and I go with my gut feeling. I always have. My gut feeling has not let me down in my entire life. Okay, any time I've really had a really gut instinct, it's always been correct. Always. So I follow my gut, and I don't care what anybody else tells me. I understand there's a lot of people up here that want to say, well, no, that picture don't look like him. Well, I'll tell you what. My gut says it's him. I see what I see. And I got three other people that looked at the exact same picture on the website that I'll show you in a bit. That all say the same thing upon looking at it immediately. Yes, that is him. Yes, that is Forever Alone Monday. But I know that Forever Alone Monday has got himself a lot of fans now who don't want to believe that the guy might be an agent, okay? Now, I did have a guy in the live stream yesterday with Steve Hoka, myself, Warren, and Dave, okay, that was in the comments section that says, well, he don't agree that the picture on the website's not Forever Alone Monday, but the Forever Alone Monday is a mason, a fed, an agent, a cop, no, I don't think he's an agent, a federal cop, no. Possibly a Freemason, yes. But I'm not going to say for sure he's a Freemason. And he brought up, well, the Simnology and the colors, blah, 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 is Masonary, so he's a Freemason. The problem with that is, is if you... Now, I do agree that the majority of the establishment are Freemasons. No doubt. Okay? But the problem is, is... They use the colors and the symbology 
of Freemasonry to advertise themselves. And anybody could come along that wasn't a Freemason and put them colors in there, put the seminology in there, and you would automatically say, that's a Freemason when it wasn't. And they would make a mockery of you because your assumptions would get ahead of your brains. So I'm not going to say he's a Freemason, but I'm also not going to say he is. Okay? So I'm going to sit on a fence with that one. But I am going to go with my gut feelings, yes. The picture is that of Monday, Forever Alone Monday, on the website. And what I find peculiar is we have this young man who's flying the name on YouTube, on his YouTube channel, Blue Skies Media. But the Blue Skies Media spelling skies is S-K-I-E-S. And then I have the website that I found that I'm going to tell you right now. That is Forever Alone Monday. And you're going to say, well, no, it ain't. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going with my gut feeling, and my gut feeling tells me it is. And I got three other people that agree totally upon looking at it without me even swaying them that, yes, that is Forever Alone Monday. My gut screams to me that it is. But I'll tell you what. You can't concretely prove to me that it's not. I may be going with my gut feeling it's never let me down. <clears throat> but like that's not concrete proof to you, you have represented absolutely no concrete proof that it isn't to me. So therefore, I disregard your statement. I don't believe he's a cop. I'm going with my gut feeling. No, he's not. This guy has ties to Hollywood, and that is him. And that is what he does. He has a bachelor's degree. He's worked with Hollywood. He has a contract with Hollywood, just like Jason Goodman on YouTube. And anybody that thinks Jason Goodman ain't linked to Hollywood is just clearly out of their fucking mind. Okay, they don't even know what they're talking about. They have the first clue. Okay, and it's no different here. What I find peculiar, though, is that these guys' names are really close to each other, ain't they? So it's caused a lot of controversy. Now, I'm going to play something I'm putting together from here. This was off of a reply video that this young man done at Forever Alone Monday. Okay. And there's definitely social engineering in here. And whether he knows it's social engineering, maybe he just believes the lie and really believes he knows what he's talking about because that is how social engineering works. It is to change your perception and your belief system to believe in something that's absolutely not true. Social media, mainstream media, your television set is a very, very powerful weapon. Your school system, very, very powerful weapon because they grab you from the time you're a child. Okay? And they teach you lies from the time you was a child. So in no way am all am I faulting this guy. He sounds sincere. He sounds real. Okay, so I'm not faulting him. But I am going to sit on a fence to how real he is for the fact that we already had Hunger Games producer son come up here and pull an act on you, pretending to be a TFLer, and then a phony baloney on a rampage killing spree called Elliot Rogers. Okay? Hollywood act all the way. And that was directed at the Manosphere. And I'm not going to say this guy here's Related to Monday Forever Alone Monday. 
in any way at all. I mean, you know, for all we know, it could, this guy could be, that could be his dad, right? No, I'm not saying that. I'm going to sit on a fence with it. And I'm going to keep my eyes open. This guy sounds, the theory sounds real. Okay? And this all could just be big old coincidence, couldn't it? But it sure stirred up a lot of controversy yesterday. Because I showed you a website with Forever Alone Monday on it. And of course, his followers don't want to believe that the guy could be a plant, an agent. So they're going to immediately defend him, even if they ain't got nothing, no concrete evidence to defend him with. Just not based on what he's speaking. My issue is he's no different than Paul Elam. That's right, the men's right activist Paul Elam. Very well professionally spoken. That's right, bachelor's degree. Done it for a living. That's right. And like Paul Elam, this guy don't address the root cause. Okay? And we're going to go back to the propaganda, the bullshit of problem, reaction, solution. They've created the problem. They gave you a fake solution to the problem they created. And Monday, Forever Alone Monday, is leading you down that rabbit hole. Everything will be the man's fault. Everything. When it's not the man's fault. Oh yes, there's cases where the man is at fault. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to the dating scene and the hundreds and hundreds of millions of men who can't even get a woman in their life across this world, the majority of all of them is not their fault. But you want to blame it on them. Because after all, everything in society is the man's fault. That's right. If you're at work breaking your butt to take care of your wife and kids, and she goes online and meets some other guy behind your back and lies to you, and goes up behind your back and cheats on you, and then decides she's replacing you with him, and throws you away like a hamburger wrapper from McDonald's, everybody's going to blame you, the man. All of your married couple friends are going to throw you under the bus and stand with her. That is how our society works. And anybody that don't think that's true has seriously got their head up there, you know what. You know, and all I did was say that I see that Monday, forever on Monday, is spilling the same stuff that leads men into believing they're at fault. He's not talking about any root causes, and he don't never bring up true force loneliness, even though he's talking true force loneliness topics left and right out of his mouth. But he's wanting to call true force loneliness forever alone. And I've told you this is sellable. True force loneliness tells the truth. Our society don't want truth. How do you think he gets censored and shut up for telling truth? It's not the liars and deceivers that's being censored. It's the truth tellers that are being censored. And if you want to run with a lie at the end when you're whining <coughs> and crying about your outcome, I don't feel sorry for you at all. I have no sympathy for stupid. I've been showing people the truth for years. And so then when my young friend from United Kingdom very politely types a comment over to Monday Forever on Monday. He's got critical thinking skills and sees the same thing I see. Forever Alone Monday is skilled. He most likely has a bachelor's degree. Okay? The guy is too clean, too professionally spoken to have not have done this for a living. See, he sees the same thing I see. 
So he goes over and leaves a comment. This is where Red Flags goes up. Because I only said that I see a guy that's done this for a living that is schooled. That don't mean he couldn't have made me out to be wrong about what I perceived and started talking about root causes. I would have loved to have been wrong. I told everybody that. I wanted to be wrong. So this guy from the United Kingdom, this young man, went over there and asked him a question in the comment section and was very polite. And this is what you've seen. Hi, do you ever plan on doing a live stream with Steve Hoga about TFL? Monday, Forever Alone Mondays reply back. I'm too busy being an agent for the New World Order to go on his live stream. Okay? He replied back at Monday, Forever Alone Monday. I don't think he suggested that. Now, do you follow where we're going here? Do you see what just took place here? Do you understand what I'm talking about now? There's no rhyme, no reason for that. He could have said to this young man, I'm really busy right now. If I can find time later on, maybe. He could have said, I'm too busy right now. Anything, right? But to add the words... I'm too busy being a New World Order agent. Says that he's been monitoring me and Steve Hoka. But he hasn't been around that long because he popped up out of nowhere. And I don't care what any of you tell me. Well, YouTube channel says he's been here two years. Bullshit. He has not been here no two years. Too many of us that's been doing this for too long keep track of the keep actual keep track of the dating scene and see new people when they come up. If this guy had been here two years, I would have known this about a year and a half ago. No, this guy's popped up in the last six months or so, and Google is a criminal entity that will put this guy on here and type in a fictitious line date so that you see the channel's been here two years when it hasn't been. He could have made all these videos, had them archived, and then came up with YouTube under a contract. Bam, bam, it all goes up and y'all believe he's been here two years, and then some of you run into him. And this guy right here, just coincidentally, is the guy that was talking about Forever Alone Monday that brought the attention of who is Forever Alone Monday to Warren, who brought it to me, who brought it to Steve. Then Dave saw it. No, 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 no. And when I started really watching, I realized this is another Paul Elam. This guy's very professionally spoken. But let's get into... uh this guy right here for a moment. I'm going to point out some things to you, okay? <coughs> so I'm going to play this real quick. Say, I just, I don't believe it, but I still don't understand it at the same time. I really, I don't get that. I, you know, I, I, I understand. I totally understand Chad's getting the girls. I get it. They're the best looking guys. They're genetically superior. It's biology. That okay, right there is eugenics talk. Okay, so he's either, this young man either is deliberately spilling this, which is social engineering, or actually really believes it. First off, okay, oh, I get it. They're Chads. They're the best looking. I totally understand that they're superior. Bullshit. There is no such thing as superior. There is no human being on the face of this planet superior to another human being. Based on looks, my ass. Nobody keeps their damn looks. Nobody. Okay? Second off. Oh, it's biology. They're superior. It's biology. 
No, they're not. Okay, so hold on. Let's get let's get this straight. So you mean these guys don't go to the bathroom like you or I? Come on, they don't go to the bathroom like you or I. They don't go to sleep like you or I at night. They don't get dressed like you or I. They can't get sick of anything from flu, from a common cold, or, or anything. Because they're superior to you. They're a god. No, they're not superior to you. No, they're not a god. No, their shit does stink just like yours does. They sit on the toilet just like you do. They bleed just like you do. They need sleep, food, and water just like you do. What part of this do you not understand that this is deliberately done? This is perpetuated to cause the problems we're having. So here you are. Here's your blue skies, S-K-I-E-S, -E media on YouTube, not blue, S-K-Y-L-L-C, parole, which I showed you on the website. Okay, but here he is doing a reply to Monday Forever Alone Monday, the trained speaker, okay, and talking eugenics talk. Everything he said right there is complete nonsense, okay? It's complete garbage. Just play it again. This is nonsense. Same time, I really, I don't get that. I, you know, I, I understand. I totally understand. Chad's getting the girls. Right. Okay. That part. If we're all gonna go on looks, which our society is doing. Okay, and I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. Why our society is going by looks? Okay, because it was all social engineering. Okay, so I, I, you know, I can understand that, right? But it's right here. I get it. They're the best looking guys. They're genetically superior. This is the problem. Genetically superior. There is no such thing as a human being who's genetically superior to another human being. <coughs> it don't exist. It's a line of hogwash. It's biology. That makes sense. But what I don't understand is the worst looking worse in every way guys doing so much better than me and I'm gonna guess you've had the same experiences too see he don't understand how the worst looking because he now he is labeling other guys himself by what he perceives to be wrong with them looking for their what he perceives to be faults and my only guess and you've brought this up before yourself but my only guess is that shitty, immature, low IQ guys... <clears throat> okay, here you go. Shitty, immature, low IQ, but I beg to differ. What I'm looking at is immature, low IQ... I don't understand it at the same time. I really, I don't get that. I, right here. You know, I, I, I understand. I totally understand Chad's getting the girls. I get it. They're the best looking guys. They're genetically superior. There you go. See? This is a low IQ guy. Do you understand that this guy is the very thing he called the other guys? Now, I may piss him off that I'm telling him He's the very thing he called the other guys. <coughs> but see, he has no right calling other men what he's calling them. He might get mad because I'm saying he's the very thing. But see, that's only him receiving, receiving what he's dishing. Being done on to the very way he's doing on to somebody else 
That's the reason I done what I done. To give him an example of his own medicine. See, he is in no shoes to tell some other people, other guys, that he don't understand how these ugly, unattractive, low IQ guys, normies, can have a woman, and he can't. But do you follow what we're seeing here? We're seeing a pattern. This pattern is what keeps us divided. This pattern is what keeps you from finding out the real truth. Now let's talk about the lookism part. It's not that this guy's a bad guy. I don't dislike this guy. What I'm telling you is what I've been screaming for years. And I cannot do your homework for you. I laid out a video the other day that shows you exactly where TFL comes from. I put the actual real truth right in your face. You just have to have the hour and 26 minutes of your busy schedule to watch, listen, and pay attention. I put it in your face. You know, this is all social engineering, every last bit of it. Your real enemy is up here at the top running all of your governments and your monetary systems. <coughs> your real enemy is the ones that's done this to you. That's right. And this guy, Forever Alone Monday, right here, Forever Alone Monday, I don't care what you tell me. My gut screams it. That's him. This is not a current picture. But then since this site's been here since 2005. And see the spelling? Blue S-K-Y, not S-K-I-E-S. And there he is. Take them glasses off. Take that garment off his head. And take them earrings out of his ears. And put him in a different pair of glasses or without glasses in a different setting in front of you and you'll clearly see it's one and the same. And this is who he is. He's Mr. Hollywood himself. Who we are. Since 2005, Blue Sky, S-K-Y, not S-K-I-E-S, -E media has inquired Okay, and distributed thousands of movies and series as, as a film distribu distribution company. You need to understand that this would mean he's linked to Hollywood. Okay, well, let's think about the training we have here. Let's think about how well spoken he is. I told you the guy most likely has a bachelor's degree <coughs> you're gonna say no how would you know because I'm not stupid I wasn't born yesterday I've been on this earth 58 years this world is nothing but a big school you will never know everything not even me you will learn more and more the older you get the longer you live till you get to the point you can't learn no more you take too many big farmers' drugs and wind up with Alzheimer's. Yeah, from taking cholesterol pills. Well, that's a whole other story, but we'll go on here. Okay? The point is, is my gut screams, this is who he is. Okay? And I'm going to go with my gut. That is Monday Forever Alone Monday. Right there. In your face. I know you lovers of him are going to deny this. It doesn't matter that you deny. I don't care that you deny. Because the truth is the truth whether you like it or not. Okay, that doesn't change the facts. The facts are 
And you need to explain to me for all of you Forever Alone Monday lovers. Okay, then you need to explain to me this. Come on, explain. Give me a good answer. Because I hadn't called this guy out at all. I've only said I suspected that the guy was possibly an agent or somebody. Well, regardless of what, I wanted to be wrong. That the guy has training, probably has a bachelor's degree. All he had to do was come up and start talking the truth. That's all he had to do was start saying about talking about social engineering. The real truth where this problem come from. Or he could have came on Steve Hoka's live stream. He could have said, I, 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 I don't have time right now. I appreciate your concern. If I can find time later on, I will. He could have said a million things. But instead of saying a million things, there you are, Monday, forever on Monday. He goes, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm too busy being an agent for the New World Order to go on his live stream. And I found that hilarious because, see, he's too busy being an agent for the New World Order. But Steve Hoka stayed focused on dating scene topics for years. <coughs> it was me. It was me. Who gave you the name TFL. It was me that did dating scene and New World Order. Dating scene and New World Order. Dating scene and New World Order. Not Steve Hoka. The people online know Steve Hoka for his dating scene videos. Not that Steve Hoka hasn't looked into stuff behind the scenes, but his focus, his attention, basically over the last 12 years, has been dating scene topics. So, when this guy says, how do you ever plan on going on a live stream with Steve Hoka about TFL, that would be the correct person because that's been his focus for 12 years, right? The dating scene. With me, I'm the one that touched NWO and dating because I'm the one that found where the social engineering from NWO is the reason where we're at right now, is the reason there's hundreds and hundreds of millions of men all over the world that can't even get a woman in their life, is because of the social engineering from NWO. So this guy did not say, are you going on a live stream with Bill Greathouse? He said, are you going to go on a live stream with Steve Hoka? But he lumped me and Steve into one category. And said he was too busy being an agent for the New World Order. This tells you he already knows who we are. And for you people that are asleep, you'll say, Oh, he was just being sarcastic. No, he was going wink, wink. So what if you know who I am? I don't give a fuck. Because there's absolutely no excuse for this kind of comment. As somebody that was nothing but polite to him and asked a simple question. All he had to do was say, I don't got time, whatever. To say this. He basically is making a mockery out of you. Because, see, the reality is they've always said they were going to tell us what they were going to do. They would even tell us who they are. And they would do it, and we would do nothing about it. That has always been said for years. And to you people that ain't awake, that's not my stupidity. This guy openly... All on the fact that I said this guy has schooling. He's done this for a living somewhere. All based on that. Only thing I said about him. That I suspected he possibly could be an agent. But it don't mean he is. And that I wanted to be wrong. Why wouldn't he just make me out to be wrong? Why wouldn't he just come up and start talking about. Maybe a little bit about himself. And say what he used to do for a living. Why would he talk about root causes? If you called somebody to fix your furnace or your air conditioner at your house. Or a plumber to fix your leak. If he didn't look for the cause. 
you'd still have a leak. If you didn't look for the cause, your furnace would still be broke. Your air conditioner would still be broke. It's no different here. If you don't look for the actual cause to the problem that was causing this epidemic to happen, then you'll never find the cause. And if you're going to go along with the narrative that it's the men's own fault and that some other human being, based on his looks, is superior to you because of genetics, you're out of your fucking mind. You don't even know what you're talking about. There is no such thing as somebody superior to somebody else. It does not exist. This is why we're divided. This is why we're fighting. This is why your real enemy is having their way with you. Yeah. Your real enemy is having their way with you and laughing at your dumbness. And you don't have to be dumb. I don't think this guy's dumb. I think this guy's just like all of the rest of us. Had the blanket pulled over his eyes and really believes the stuff that's coming out of his mouth. And he's not using any kind of critical thinking skills. He would just back up and think. Use his own brain that's in his head and think. Then he would understand, I don't give a shit what they look like. First off, nobody keeps their damn looks. Second off, the reason you got the situation we got is because it was all socially engineered. You got to, you know, he goes on and talks about attractiveness, okay? And when he goes on and talks about attractiveness, that nobody can help their attractiveness. He's not understanding this. Social engineering is how they've gotten everybody to be attracted to what they're attracted to. Do. You think the girls just are naturally attracted to what they're attracted to, do, and you as a guy is naturally attracted to what they're attracted to. Do. And he says this in his video, and that's not true at all. Never has been. You know where you got your attraction from? Everything that was placed in your face from the time you was a child. Human beings are like a computer. We are very programmable. And you don't even realize you are. The fashion industry, the modeling industry, the cheerleaders and the sport teams, the pornography, all of it put together hand in hand is where you're getting your attractions from. And it's not your fault because you was born into a world from the time you was brought home from the hospital. This has been placed in your face. You've been told what's attractive. You sure have from the time you was a kid. You just didn't realize you was actually being told what's attractive, what's acceptable. And, you know, and when he talked about, and he slammed the guys, and I used him as an example. I'm going to guess you've had the same experiences, too. And my only guess, and you've brought this up before yourself, but my only guess is that shitty, immature, low IQ guys. See, right here, we sit here and we make labels. And we put other human beings in categories. Where did that come from? Oh, that's right. Hollywood movies. Commercials. Movies. Sitcom series. <coughs> that's right. Sports. Everything that you've seen with your eyeballs since you grew up as a little kid. And making categories for people. We've gave him categories that this guy's a nerd, a geek. That's right. We've labeled everybody. Females have to be the model. They have to be super good looking and fit this image and that image to become a model or a cheerleader. And if the female don't fit this image, 
that we've decided out of our own brains, which is social engineering, she can't be a model. She can't be a cheerleader. You know how many girls are turned down every year for modeling that want to model? You know how many girls are turned down for being a cheerleader every year? They're not allowed to be a cheerleader? Why is that? Well, that's because we're shaping what you're going to be attracted to. It's all social engineering. What pornography do you watch on the average of porn where you're seeing that big obese woman? Are you seeing that ugly, gross-looking woman? You're not. Don't you understand what I'm telling you? This is social engineering. You've been shaped, molded, formed. Because your brain works a lot like a computer. Not that you're a computer, but it works a lot in the same ways. And your perceptions are what you was showing, what was put in your brain your whole life. And only you can overturn them. See, the reality is, is this. None of us keeps our looks. The Chads and the number 10s, you know, you put everybody in a, like a meat market. You go to the grocery store. You've labeled each other like a damn meat market. Whether she's one, two, three, four, five, up to 10, 10 being the hottest. Yeah. And then you put it on the market. The sexual value on the market. Listen to what you're talking and what you're saying and pay attention to your own words. Don't you realize that's all social engineering? Don't you realize all you're doing is impetuating the problem, <coughs> keeping the problem alive and well? That's right. Keeping the problem healthy. So that your real enemy who done this to you can have their way with you. And they are having their way with you. See, all of us might as well excuse my language, but I'm going to say this. All of you, all of you people out here that don't want to listen to this, that's because you like being their bitch. Now, I know you're going to say, I'm not no bitch. Excuse my language again. But I'm going to differ with you. And I'm going to say, if you can't use any critical thinking skills to figure out what I'm telling you, then it don't matter what you tell me. Yes, you do like being their bitch. Because you'll always be their bitch until you take your head out of your you-know-what. I cannot help those who are not willing to help themselves. I cannot fix stupid. Okay? That's all there is to it. And I'm not calling this guy stupid. I think he legitimately is living what he's telling you and doing what he's doing. But I'm still going to sit on a fence with him for this reason. Because it appears to me that we have his name, Sky Blue Media, spelled a little bit differently. And then we have Blue Sky. So we have Blue Sky Media on YouTube. Okay, Blue Sky is S-K-I-E-S. -E and we have Blue Sky here. And I'm telling you, that picture is Monday Forever Alone Monday. Who also has this political channel. That's right, Blue Monday. Where he's giving you the right and the left spill. Divide and conquer. Oh yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. That is him. Okay? And it makes sense. Ties to Hollywood. So I want to just say be careful. Be really careful because I want to believe this guy's just like everybody else, legit. <coughs> but I don't know him on a personal level. Okay? To stand by him in that aspect. I have to say that Monday Forever Alone Monday came out of the thin air. He just showed up out of nowhere. And he has all these subs. And the one thing that's for fact, anybody that's telling real truth on YouTube 
doesn't have all these subs. No lie. Fact. Because the liars censor you and shut you up. Anybody that's a deceiver <coughs> and a liar that goes along with the agenda, they get the subs. That's right. Anybody that's asleep at the will, that don't know what's going on, that is pushing the lie, will have subs. Anybody that's an agent will have subs. Anybody that's not an agent, that's absolutely real, who absolutely cares about right and wrong, that's right, and is telling you the real truth, they will be the ones that will not have the subs. They will be the ones that are being held back. You know, Steve Hoke and I, I do believe in TFL, True Force Loneliness, the TFL guys are the most honest people on the internet in the manosphere. No lie. That's a fact. We tell you the real truth, not the bullshit, not the lie, not the deception. <clears throat> I've lost several channels and thousands of videos telling you the truth. Because I've been shut down more than once for telling you the truth. Because the truth is under attack by deceivers and liars. And if you're going to go along with the deceivers and liars, then you have no room to bitch about the life you're living. Then you have no room to bitch about it. You should enjoy being their bitch and love being their bitch because you don't care anyhow. If you don't want to be there, you know what? And you should be mad as hell. Hundreds of millions of men all over this world should be mad as hell. And they should want to know who their real enemy is, how this happened, and want to go after the real enemy. That would be a normal human reaction. But anything that's not normal is what's happening. Now, I'm going to end this video, but this guy here, I got nothing against him. <clears throat> nothing at all. I don't know him. I'm not going to judge him. I'm going to sit on a fence with him. The only red flag I have with this guy at all is he pops up with Blue Skies, S-K-I-E-S, -E media. Monday Forever Alone Monday pops up. This guy seems to know who he is right away. And out of the people that's been doing dating scene videos for all these years, know nothing about Blue or Monday Forever Alone Monday. And so this guy says, oh, this guy right here. And this guy's done a reply at Forever Alone Monday, who's replied back to him. But yet, Forever Alone Monday has been keeping his eyes right there. Forever Alone Monday has been keeping his eyes on me and Steve Hoka. You can say, well, how do I know that? Right here. Right here. Your dad right he knows who me and Steve are. It's about selling a name to send you right back down the rabbit hole. And giving you the original story. It's like going back to 9-11. A bunch of hijackers from a cave. Hijacked an airplane. And flew it into these buildings. And brought a third building down without even touching it. That we blocked the investigation on. Because we were so honest, you know. That's why we stopped the investigation. Because we're so honest, you know. See, they're going back to the original story. Of course they are. They want you to believe the lie. They want hundreds and hundreds of millions and millions of men to believe the reason they can't give in their life is of their own fault. So they can market and sell their sex bot to you. 
so that the only people that could ever have a real woman in their life will be the upper tier, the elite. While millions and millions of men suffer, the elite will have a wonderful life while you are squatting the shallows and then walk around on the crap and the turds and the, yeah, because you're peasants. You're useless eaters and feeders. You're cattles. You're not even humans. And don't get mad at me for saying that because this guy basically said it right to you right here. He already said he's not a human. But at the same time, I really, I don't get that. I, you know, I, I, I understand. I totally understand Chad's getting the girls. I get it. They're the best looking guys. They're genetically superior. There you go. He already knows he's the low life scum. That this person's superior to him. That's sad. Because that's complete bullshit. There's no such thing as superior to him. I'm not superior to him. He's not superior to me. I'm not better than him. Forever Alone Monday ain't better than anybody. No. The President of the United States, the puppet of the United States, ain't better than nobody. No, there's no such thing as that. That is from psychopaths who think that you're God, who wants you to be their, you know what, their bitch. And you're being there. Why? You got to get mad and stand up for yourself. These people, the last time I looked, believed the same way you do. Put the clothes on the same way you do. Their shit stinks like everybody else's when they go to the bathroom. They get sick like anybody else does, die like anybody else does, and they get old and lose their looks like everybody does. We have used looks as a weapon to place other people in categories above, above other people. Just like we use the monetary system money as a weapon to push other people down and put other people above other people. It's evil, it's sick, it's psychopathic, and it needs to stop. But I'm going to get on out of here now. I've said what I had to say. I'm not against this guy, but I'm suspicious of the fact that Forever Alone Monday came on scene out of nowhere. Has all these subs out of nowhere. <coughs> Steve Hoke has been here 12 years doing dating scene topics. His sub count just stopped froze and now it's going backwards as he's losing subs that's not no accident that's deliberate and this guy he just happens to be carrying a name that is so so close to this that I have to question it okay I have no choice I have to question it and my gut feeling screams, I know who this is. And this is your Forever Alone Monday right there. Don't care what you say. My gut tells me it is. And so that's where I go. And with that being said, I'm out of here. You all have a good one.